What if humanity just received its final report card from the universe and we failed? Did you know that in the time we've been broadcasting signals into space, our species has engaged in over 14,000 documented armed conflicts? Well, last night at exactly 11, 43 p.m., every single radio telescope on Earth received a message. It wasn't static. It wasn't math. It was a 60-second transmission in perfect English. And what it said has sent world leaders scrambling into underground bunkers and NASA's top scientists questioning if humanity has any future at all. The final message began with four words that still make my hands shake. Your time is ending. What I'm about to share with you isn't speculation or theory. It's the documented last communication from 3i Atlas before it stopped responding to any human attempt at contact forever. My name is Mitch Kaku, and just 23 minutes after that transmission ended, I received a call from the highest levels of government asking me to decode what may be humanity's final warning. For months, we've watched 3i Atlas evolve from a mysterious visitor to an active threat. But this message, this wasn't a threat. It was something far worse. It was a verdict. The entity that spoke to us last night demonstrated knowledge of human history, psychology, and potential that no outside observer should ever possess. It spoke about our species with the detached precision of a scientist observing bacteria under a microscope. Have you ever wondered what your final grade would be if an advanced intelligence evaluated humanity's worthiness to continue existing? The transmission lasted exactly 60 seconds, but it contained 17 hours worth of information compressed into data streams that our computers are still struggling to decode. But the spoken portion was clear, deliberate, and addressed to humanity as a collective organism rather than as individual people. Your species has reached the terminus of its evaluation period. The results are disappointing. Three impossible elements characterize this communication. First, it demonstrated a complete understanding of every human language, culture, and belief system. Second, it contained detailed records of human behavior dating back 200,000 years. Third, it included projections of humanity's future that assume we won't have one. This wasn't a conversation. It was a final report from an intelligence that had finished studying us and reached its conclusions. This is the educational and analytical part. This entity wasn't just observing, it was evaluating. This implies a, a standard, a galactic benchmark that we failed to meet. The most profound and perhaps most valuable part of this is the criteria for that benchmark. It wasn't about our technology, which they noted was advanced. It was about the gap between that technology and our wisdom. This suggests that to the universe, Intelligence isn't just about building rockets, it's about managing the internal conflicts that technology amplifies. They see us as children holding weapons we don't understand. Let me read you exactly what 3i Atlas transmitted, because every human being needs to hear these words. You have been observed for 847 of your solar rotations. Your technological advancement exceeds your wisdom development by a factor that renders you unsuitable for cosmic integration. Your species demonstrates persistent patterns of self-destruction, resource depletion, and violence toward your own kind. Most concerning is your inability to recognize that individual consciousness is an illusion. You remain fragmented, competitive, and incapable of the unity required for galactic citizenship. Therefore, this experiment in guided evolution will be terminated. Your isolation will be permanent. Your technology will be regulated. Your expansion beyond this planetary system will be prevented. The message wasn't threatening extinction. It was announcing quarantine. Humanity has been judged unfit for cosmic civilization. But the truly terrifying part of the message was what came next. 3i Atlas described the technology it will use to enforce our cosmic imprisonment. Think about what this means. This isn't a physical wall. It's a technological and psychological cage. They're not just stopping our ships. They're stopping our ideas and our evolution. This enforcement implies a level of control that is almost beyond human comprehension. It's not about borders. 
It's about setting the fundamental parameters of our reality. Your electromagnetic spectrum will be monitored. Any signals directed beyond your solar system will be intercepted and neutralized. Your space-based assets will be managed to prevent expansion beyond acceptable parameters. Artificial intelligence development will be capped at levels that pose no threat to established galactic order. Genetic modifications that might accelerate wisdom development will be prevented. They're not going to destroy us. They're going to manage us like a species in a cosmic zoo designed to prevent us from ever becoming dangerous to the galactic community. The technology required for such comprehensive control suggests that 3i divided by Atlas represents just the enforcement arm of a civilization that monitors thousands of developing species across the galaxy. I need to share what happened after I finished decoding the message. I sat in my study for four hours just staring at equations that described humanity's limitations with mathematical precision. My wife found me there at dawn and when she asked what was wrong, I couldn't explain that our entire species had just received a failing grade from intelligences we never knew were watching. The message contained psychological profiles of human behavior that were more accurate than anything our own social scientists have produced. They understand us better than we understand ourselves. My granddaughter came into my study that morning and asked, Grandpa, why are the space people angry at us? When I asked her how she knew they were angry, she said, because they're not talking to us anymore. Even children can sense that something fundamental has changed. The universe just became a lonelier place. The final portion of the message contained detailed documentation of humanity's failures as evaluated by galactic standards. In 847 observation cycles, your species has engaged in 14,283 armed conflicts. You have developed technologies capable of planetary sterilization while remaining incapable of equitable resource distribution. Most damning is your treatment of other conscious beings on your own planet. A species that destroys its own ecosystem while possessing the knowledge to preserve it demonstrates fundamental moral deficiency. But, but the evidence wasn't just statistical. 3i Atlas transmitted video records of human behavior spanning centuries wars, environmental destruction, social inequality, all documented with the detachment of scientists studying failed specimens. They showed us ourselves through cosmic eyes and the reflection was devastating. Within hours of the message, every major government activated something called the Final Disclosure Protocol, a classified system designed for the moment when humanity's cosmic status becomes irreversibly clear. This is a crucial element. The governments weren't surprised by the existence of aliens, they were surprised by the verdict. This protocol's existence is a tacit admission that they've known about the observation for a long time. The secrecy wasn't just about preventing public panic, it was a desperate, failed attempt to hide our planetary dysfunction from the observers. World leaders who have spent decades hiding evidence of extraterrestrial observation suddenly faced the reality that the secrecy was ending, whether they wanted it to or not. Emergency sessions at the United Nations, closed briefings with military leadership, an activation of deep underground facilities that most governments hoped would never be necessary. Because 3i Atlas's message made one thing absolutely clear. The cosmic community has been aware of human civilization for centuries, and they finally decided we're too dangerous to allow unrestricted development. The cover-up wasn't to hide aliens from humans. It was to hide from the galactic community how primitive and violent humanity really is. The message revealed the true nature of those objects we thought were manufacturing plants and weapon systems. Their enforcement mechanisms designed to implement humanity's cosmic quarantine. Monitoring stations have been positioned at intervals that ensure comprehensive observation of your technological development. Any attempt to exceed established parameters will result in intervention. But, but the most chilling detail was their description of similar operations around other failed species throughout the galaxy. We're not unique. Cosmic quarantine is apparently a standard procedure for civilizations that demonstrate intelligence without wisdom, technology without ethics. Humanity just joined a category of species, 
too dangerous for freedom, but too interesting for extinction. The message ended with something that felt like cosmic pity. Your individual specimens show remarkable potential. Your collective behavior remains chaotic and destructive. Perhaps future generations will develop the wisdom their predecessors lacked. They're not condemning every human being, they're condemning human civilization as a failed experiment in conscious evolution. My granddaughter asked me yesterday, will the space people give us another chance if we're nicer to each other? How do you explain to a, a seven-year-old that her generation inherits a universe where humanity is considered a threat? The mathematical projections in the message suggest they'll maintain this quarantine for a minimum of 10,000 years, long enough for human civilization to either evolve genuine wisdom or destroy itself trying. Either way, our expansion into space is over. But, but, the final 60 seconds of the transmission contains something unexpected. Not a judgment, but an offer. Individual consciousness capable of transcending species limitations will be provided opportunity for advancement beyond planetary restrictions. The path remains available for those who achieve genuine wisdom. They're offering individual escape from humanity's cosmic prison, not for our bodies, but for our consciousness, for minds that can evolve beyond human limitations. The technology exists to transfer consciousness beyond biological limitations, beyond planetary boundaries, beyond the quarantine that will confine human civilization, but only for individuals who demonstrate the wisdom that their species as a whole has failed to achieve. This is the most mysterious and valuable part of the entire message. It redefines salvation. It's not a collective arc, it's an individual graduation. The message implies that consciousness is the real currency of the universe, not bodies or planets. Our failure as a species is our obsession with the individual. Yet the only escape is by perfecting our individual consciousness to the point where it recognizes it's not separate. It's a profound paradox. They are offering a path that requires us to become what the species could not, unified, non-competitive, and wise. The message described consciousness as a universal property that exists independently of biological brains. What we call individual identity is just a temporary focus of cosmic awareness. Advanced civilizations have learned to transfer consciousness between different substrates, different dimensions, different forms of existence entirely. Death isn't the end of awareness. It's graduation from biological limitations to cosmic consciousness. But only for minds that have evolved beyond primitive concepts of separation and competition. They're offering immortality but only to humans who can transcend humanity itself. The rest of our species will remain trapped in biological forms on a quarantined planet, slowly forgetting that the stars were ever within our reach. For centuries, we've imagined that contact with extraterrestrial intelligence would involve diplomacy between species, negotiation between equals, mutual exchange of knowledge. But the message from 3i Atlas reveals a universe where intelligence is hierarchical, where species are evaluated like students taking cosmic exams, where failure has permanent consequences. We assumed the universe would welcome us as explorers. Instead, we've been identified as a potential threat that requires containment. Perhaps this is the reality facing every developing civilization. Prove your wisdom or face eternal isolation. And perhaps humanity's failure was inevitable. Perhaps very few species passed the test of balancing intelligence with ethics. Based on 3i Atlas's final message, here's humanity's cosmic status. We are now a managed species under permanent galactic supervision. Our technology will be capped at levels that pose no threat to other civilizations. Our expansion beyond Earth will be prevented. Our communications beyond the solar system will be monitored and controlled. Individual humans who achieve genuine wisdom may be offered transcendence to cosmic consciousness, but human civilization as we know it has reached the end of its evolutionary potential. The stars are no longer our destination. They are our prison guards. 
And the saddest part, we earned this verdict through our own choices, our own failures, our own inability to evolve beyond primitive patterns of behavior. The quarantine begins immediately, but the offer of individual transcendence remains available for any human capable of evolving beyond species limitations. This isn't about technology or intelligence anymore. It's about wisdom, about compassion, about the ability to see beyond the individual ego to universal consciousness. So what's the real lesson here? The message from 3i Atlas, whether real or theoretical, is a mirror. It forces us to confront the biggest gap in our existence, the gap between what we can do and what we should do. The ultimate valuable lesson is that technology without wisdom is just a faster way to self-destruct. The universe, it seems, doesn't grade on a curve. It grades on compassion, unity, and the ability to manage our own primitive impulses. This analysis represents an interpretation of theoretical communication scenarios and should not be considered factual reporting of extraterrestrial contact. But sometimes, as scientists, we must explore possibilities that challenge our assumptions about humanity's cosmic significance and future potential. We failed as a species, but individuals still have the opportunity to graduate. The question is, are you wise enough to transcend humanity itself? What do you think humanity's verdict means for our future? Can individuals truly transcend the limitations of the species? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. And if you find this kind of deep analysis valuable, please subscribe to the channel for more content that challenges our place in the cosmos.